It's now been nearly four years since Microsoft Flight Simulator was launched, and since then, the sim has seen some fantastic payware airliners enter the market. With Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 now on the horizon, we here at Flyby Simulations decided to compile a list of what we believe are the top five airliners that are either available or are upcoming for the simulator very shortly. Now remember, this is only part one in our new top five series. So if your favorite aircraft isn't on this list, simply leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to get to it in the next video we make. That being said, even if you do know some of the airliners in this list, there are bound to be certain aspects of them you might not have thought about. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. From quote unquote study level aircraft covering Boeing and Airbus fleets, as well as some projects you might not have heard of, some of the aircraft in today's video are also available on Xbox. So if you're looking to spend some cash on an add-on this summer, sit back, relax, and get ready to do some window shopping. What is going on guys, Varun from Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Now right before getting started, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to the entire Flyby Simulations community. We've just hit the 22,000 subscriber mark on the channel. If you too wish to be part of this journey, then do make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of any future video releases on this channel. Additionally, we do have a free Discord server which is also growing very, very fast, so if you're looking for a community of aviation enthusiasts to interact with or speak to people about any flight simulator, head on over to the first link down in the description section below. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Starting things off then, we have the highly popular, dependable, good quality PMDG 737 series of aircraft. Currently available for both PC as well as Xbox, PMDG offers unrivaled levels of quality, immersion, variety, and overall enjoyment with their products. At the moment, the company offers four distinct aircraft in the Boeing 737NG family, including the Dash 600, the Dash 700, the Dash 800, and the Dash 900 variants. Now, unfortunately, only the Dash 700 and the Dash 800 variants are currently available for purchase on the Xbox platform, with the other two only available on PC at the moment. But don't worry, not only are PMDG working to bring the other two variants to the console marketplace as soon as possible, the Dash 800 happens to be the most popular variant of the 737NG family anyway. So that offers you plenty of routes to experiment with, as well as plenty of liveries or skins to take your 737 to the skies with. Apart from the obvious visual, auditory, and experiential qualities of the product, the performance of this aircraft is also very nice, at least on PC. I often tend to get very balanced and consistent frame rates with the PMDG 737, which can be said about some of the other products out in the market. The only two areas where this product might fall short for some of you might be a lack of an EFB or electric electronic flight bag, as well as the price of the aircraft, which at around 75 US dollars for the Dash 700 and Dash 800 variants is a little steep for many. Now, it's important to note here that the Dash 600 and the Dash 900 variants are priced way below this at just 35 US dollars and 50 US dollars respectively, but even at that price, many might be inclined to move away and get an add-on that suits their budget while offering better value for money. Just wanted to put the negatives out there along with the pluses. Overall, the PMDG 737 is a great choice for those of you looking for the ultimate 737 experience. Speaking of value for money though, you can't possibly mention that phrase without mentioning the second aircraft on our list, the Phoenix Simulations A320. Often dubbed the most consumer-friendly aircraft in all of Microsoft Flight Simulator, this study-level A320 simulation is by far the best for any simulator that I have personally tested in my life, battling closely with the FS Labs A320 family for FSX and P3D. The add-on includes 4K PBR textures, custom modeled systems, over 288 working circuit breakers, and nearly 200 customizable failures for you to practice with, and much, much more as well. All of this, by the way, comes at a modest price of just 55 US dollars. Now I realize that might still seem a little steep to some of you guys, but trust me, for the quality of product you're getting, 55 US dollars is a steal for an A320 simulation that genuinely blows any competition out of the water. 
Sure, I can entertain an argument that says the freeware fly-by-wire A32NX can get just as good as the Phoenix, but I'd have to say that it's just not there yet, and definitely needs time to get to the point where the Phoenix A320 currently sits in. Now, performance-wise, I must say the aircraft is a little weaker than the PMDG 737, due to the sheer complexity of the add-on. However, the developers are constantly working on updates to help refine the aircraft and add additional features to make the flying experience better. Unfortunately, the product is only available for PC at the moment, with the developers not mentioning any plans to include it for Xbox anytime soon. Overall, for anyone on PC looking to take your A320 operations to the next level, you will definitely not go wrong with the Phoenix A320. Just make sure your system is beefy enough to be able to handle it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, moving away from existing airliners for a bit, let's talk about the hotly anticipated Airsoft A330-300 coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. The aircraft is slated to release by August or September of this year, and the latest updates on the aircraft's official landing page that is now live suggest that last-minute tweaks are currently being made to ensure the aircraft will work well on release. As evidenced by this jaw-dropping trailer created by my colleague Aviation Lads, the aircraft has been faithfully modeled both externally as well as internally with several liveries that will be made available on launch. Now, contrary to the two previous aircraft mentioned in this video though, this one will not be as highly detailed from a systems standpoint, with the developers aiming to provide basic point-to-point -point functionality to allow simmers to perform normal operations with the aircraft. Some non-normal failure operations might still be simulated at launch, but the developers have alluded to consistent updates over time to help make the A330-300 better after release, as well as a stable platform for the A330neo that they also plan to release further down the line. The aircraft will indeed be available on both PC as well as Xbox, so simmers on the console can also keep their eyes peeled for the long-haul bird making its way into the marketplace. Finally, the price of the aircraft has been confirmed by the developers as being under 60 euros, but the exact amount is yet to be seen, since an exact feature list for the aircraft is still under deliberation by the developers. As soon as we know the number, Flyby Simulations will be the first to let you know. So do make sure that you have liked this video, subscribed to the channel, and have notifications turned on. Now before getting further ahead in the video, I ask for less than 60 seconds of your time to be able to tell you about Simplace, the largest flight simulation peripheral marketplace in the world. Now as a flight simmer, finding the right yoke or throttle quadrant or rudder pedals at the right price can be quite overwhelming, but Simplace offers you a massive catalog of products from trusted developers such as Honeycomb and Thrustmaster to choose from, making your flying experience as realistic as possible. They often have sales and shipping discounts going on as well, so you can often get products for lower prices on Simplace than you can on other websites. My personal favorite thing about Simplace though, is that they also have an integrated marketplace where you, yes you, can also sell your flight sim gear or alternatively purchase secondhand items for far cheaper prices. So simply use the link in the description section of the video and use code FLYBY all caps at checkout as seen on screen to earn a further 6% off your entire purchase. That's code FLYBY, all caps, with the link down below the like button to get started with elevating your flight simulation journey. Anyways, back to the video. Moving on to the fourth and penultimate aircraft on our list today, let's veer away from Boeing and Airbus aircraft and look into some smaller airliners. I am of course talking about the Embraer E-Jets by Flight Sim Studios. Now the story of this product did undergo quite an arc, with several people being very excited with the initial marketing of the product, but then being quite disappointed with the final product. However, since the initial release, which happened over eight months ago, I can confirm that the aircraft has come very, very far, and I definitely have a lot of fun with it whenever I give it a fly. Now, just to be clear, the aircraft is still considered an early access product, so do expect bugs, but despite this disclaimer, the aircraft has tons of features that fully allow you to complete a flight from point A to B, including a custom sound set, high resolution virtual cockpit, accurate avionics, and more. Furthermore, the developers are actively working on the product and are transparent with the community about the progress of the aircraft as well, which is always great to see. Their official development roadmap also gives a direct glimpse into what areas of the aircraft are being worked on at each juncture or phase of the product. At just under 37 US dollars, I would definitely say this aircraft is a worthy investment. 
if you wish to move away from the various Boeing and Airbus airliners, since the Embraer E-170 and E-175 definitely allow you to do some more quirky routes you wouldn't be able to do with the larger aircraft on this list. And finally then, while we're on the non-Boeing and Airbus train, let's conclude part one of this series by talking about yet another upcoming aircraft, the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 by TFDI Design. This aircraft aims to be a study level, super faithful recreation of the real MD-11 within Microsoft Flight Simulator, with high resolution texture modeling, both internally and externally, as well as custom sounds, circuit breaker support, as well as a comprehensive plethora of failures for simmers to experiment with at launch. As of making this video, the aircraft is 77.75% complete. And if you're wondering how I know the exact percentage of its completion, well, it's because the developers have published a full progress page highlighting where each and every subsystem of the aircraft is in relation to its completion. We expect to see the MD-11 grace our virtual skies by the end of this calendar year, with a rather interesting pricing package. A base pack, which gives you the option to either purchase the cargo or passenger version of the aircraft, will be priced at 70 US dollars. If you wish to then upgrade to the version you didn't purchase the first time, that is, the cargo version if you purchase the passenger version first and vice versa, that will be an additional 10 US dollars. Finally, TFDI Design are also offering an extended simulation package for those of you that want the ultimate MD-11 experience, with enhanced circuit breaker functionality, custom failures, and more, for an additional $5 US dollars, bringing the total price up to $85 US dollars if you wish to purchase the full MD-11 package. You can also pre-order the aircraft right now and save 5 US dollars off the base price so you will pay 80 US dollars instead of 85 US dollars for the whole package. But this is still very steep for many, I know. But what's important to note here is that TFDI Design have a decent prior reputation with their other products for past simulators, so only time will tell whether their add-on may be worth as much for the average simmer. Unfortunately, the aircraft won't be available on Xbox on launch, but the development team have confirmed that they haven't ruled out the possibility and will aim to bring it to as many platforms as possible with time. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the conclusion of our video today. As mentioned before, do note that this list is not exhaustive and only includes payware airliners for Microsoft Flight Simulator that I either fly often for these videos or am anxiously awaiting in the near future. There were several others that I left out for the sake of time and brevity, so do let me know which ones you'd like to see in part 2 or part 3 in this series. Trust me, there's enough airliners to cover, it's just a matter of interest on your part. With that said guys, thanks for watching and thanks for flying by.